My sweet little Clara, one year ago you came into our lives after keeping me waiting and waiting and waiting. It's my due date today. 40 weeks pregnant today and no sign of baby. Uh, don't think it's going to happen anytime soon. Finally, 10 days overdue, you made your way earthside. Labour was the absolute opposite of your character. It was so fast and furious. And in just under two hours, you were safe and sound in my arms. Your dad and I were pretty happy with how fast and smooth it all went. I remember feeling so proud of myself. I had done it. You were the calmest baby from the get-go. I still wonder if you had even realised that you had been born. You just seemed to be sleeping right through it all. We didn't even get a proper cry out of you until quite a few days later. And of course your sister and grandma came to welcome you. Izzy was actually quite intrigued. Hello, who's this Izzy? Who is it? Hi, Clara. <laughs> Clara. Clara. Clara, that's right. But after Clara. having had a good look, she was more interested in the new toy we had gifted her. A present from Clara. After all, she had now become a big sister and that is something that needed to be celebrated too. Yeah, you're cutting. Kiwi. You're cutting a kiwi. And little Clara is just sleeping up here. We brought you home the next day and honestly, life couldn't have been any better. When we wake, hear the birds and see the sun. Side by side our fears are done. All the good times just begun. You were sleeping and feeding so well and unlike your sister, I was even able to put you down in your bassinet. You were just so relaxed and I was still on a high from birth. It was almost too good to be true. I used to love sitting in bed holding you and reading books with your sister. My absolute favourite pastime during that period. And so the first few days and weeks as a family of four went by without any major hiccups. Of course there were interrupted nights and early mornings. Many meals were had standing up, but overall things were pretty smooth sailing. Hello. Okay. You and I can weather oh, any storm. In the park. You're a vegetarian. Look at your hands, eh? Hi, I'm here. Hi, I'm here. Hi, I'm here. Just one day before your one month anniversary, your Omi went to heaven and became your and Izzy's guardian angel. It was very sad, and I was so glad I had the two of you in my life. You honestly saved my heart. Ganz, ganz klasse. Hallo, guck mal, wie auf der Kopf kommt. So, jetzt muss ich das mal festhalten. Das macht es jetzt zwar nicht gleich nochmal, aber die ist jetzt gerade das erste Mal gerollt. Vom Bauch auf den Rücken. Sieben Wochen alt, genau heute. Oder die macht schon wieder. Guck mal. Oh, ich hab's doch festgehalten. You did it again. You developed so nicely and continued being a very calm baby. The one word that describes you best is just sweet. You really are that. My kind, loving, affectionate, sweet little Clara. I was never the one to write up a song for just anyone. I I was always the one to find myself lost in all conversations. So, Cause I've always been told that things will unfold if you keep on waiting. But then you came along and proved me all wrong. So mistaken, cause you, and slowly but surely you began to become more mobile. Now this one, what we're watching right now is you rolling from back to front for the first time. So proud I was. So 
Clara's meeting her first kangaroos. You and Izzy started to do a few more things together and you really, really enjoyed any physical activity. This Jolly Dumper was the absolute favourite thing for you. First food wasn't a big hit. <laughs> we went on our first holiday up north and just enjoyed some actual quality time together. <laughs> Yeah, you can make me wanna try forever. I feel so free. Oh my sweet baby. Yeah, this is the Clara, die ist mir gerade aufgefallen, aber auch. Die ist immer so getraut. Wenn die aufwacht. And I think to myself, and I'm thinking out loud, we won't need nothing else for the rest of our time. So well, ah. I will always be by your side. <laughs> you pull all the pieces back together. Music for you also has been a very big part. Oh. <laughs> and you've really taken to it. I love the fact that you and your sister get to grow up near the ocean. So many nice experiences. You continued to hit your milestones. You were such a physical baby, always on the move, super wriggly, but also super, super affectionate and cuddly. Your personality is so very different to Isabella's. You don't seem to seek any approval or have the need for us to cheer you on. You're just doing things because you like to do them. In fact, when we try and cheer you on, you often look at us quite puzzled, not understanding what all the fuss is all about. At eight months old, we went on a little holiday down to Bustleton. Just you, me, Izzy, and Grandma. You went on your first ever train ride down the jetty. And enjoyed a bath in a bucket. You were super easy to travel with and I enjoyed our early morning beach walks whilst Izzy was still sleeping. The last month of 2021 was an exciting one for you. You began to show some interest in walking. And of course, you were about to experience your first ever Christmas. I know you didn't really know what was going on, but I really enjoyed our first Christmas as a family of four. For me, growing up, Christmas has always been a time of wonder, excitement and traditions. And I was so happy to get to do that for you and your sister too. Before you were born, I just couldn't imagine who you would be. I didn't know if I could love anyone as much as I loved your sister. But I honestly needn't have worried. I couldn't have imagined a more perfect little baby to join our family so seamlessly like you did. You fit in from the start and my love to you just kept on growing and growing every day. Izzy's and my bond was very special because, well, she was my first baby. Our bond is special because we shared life-changing moments and all their intensity very early on. Whilst for Izzy's birth I had an epidural and felt nothing with you, I felt everything. And when Omi died, you were asleep in my arms. I'm so 
sorry your first year was a mix of me being so very, very sad and at the same time so very, very happy. But looking at your happy little face and the personality that is coming through more and more, we have definitely done more right than wrong. My sweet little Clara, you are so loved by all of us. Please always remain your happy, affectionate little self and keep on smiling. We will always have your back, no matter what. Love, Mum, Dad and Izzy. anyone I I was always the one to find myself lost in all conversations oh cause I've always been told that things will unfold if you keep on waiting but then you came along and proved me all wrong I was so mistaken cause you glue all the pieces back together yeah you you take all my wrongs and make them better yeah you you're making me wanna try forever Feel so free, oh my sweet baby